That's it. Off in racing for Division 2 of the Tattersalls Ireland four-year-old maiden nine runners make their way through the gap. And the first to show, it is Master Splinter from its second, Heston Claremont, and the inside Zanidi. And they're followed next by Wasini Eye, they with lighter green. And next behind these is Bubble Dubuis. And wider still is Battle of Mirbrat, and they're followed in behind these by Spagnum, and the back marker is Extrapolation. Making their way downhill towards the bottom bend, shortly going to swing left-handed and make their way into the back straight for their first time, turning on towards fence number two. And as they do so, it is in front, Master Splinter from Zanidi in second. They're followed next in the field by Haston Clermont, and they're followed next in behind these by Bubble Dewey. Wasini Island is next, and they're followed wider still by Battle of Merbrat as they jump that one. And next, and behind these, the three towards rear are Lights are Green. Extrapolation and Spagnum is the back marker. Right over the far side on towards the next, which is fence number three. And it is Master Splinter over from in second, Bubble Dubuis. Zanini is next in third, and they're followed by in behind these in fourth. It is Haston Claremont, and they're followed next as a head around the bin by Wasini Island, who's on the inside of Master of. of Battle of Mirbrat and Lights are Green, and they're followed by Extrapolation and Spagnum as the back marker. Master Splinter from Bubble de Wee, and they're followed by next and behind these, it is Zanidi, and they're followed wider still by Haston Claremont. Fifth and behind these is Battle of Mirbrat, and they're followed by Wazini Island, Lights are Green, breaking a couple ends back to Extrapolation in the back marker of the field, it is Spagnum. Heading towards the home bin for the first time, going to swing in and race uphill towards the next, which will be fence number five. As they do so, it is in front. As they swing the bin, Master Splinter from Bubble Debris. They are followed next in the field by, in behind these, is an ED. And these are followed wider still by Haston Claremont. In fourth, fifth touching down as lights are green, and he's tracked and he's outside by Battle of Mirbrat, Mer Rossini Island, and they're followed next in behind these by. The two towards rear, Extrapolation and Spagnum is the back marker. The passage judges train are the circuit complete. Head quickly race on towards the next, fence number six. And coming to it, Master Splinter from Bubble Dubuis. A bad mistake and out of the contest there, it is Battle of Merbrat. And Noel McFarlane is already sitting up on his feet. Field of nine is reduced to eight as they swing the bend and make their way back into the back straight for their... Second time, heading on towards fence number seven. And as they swing the bend, it is in front, Master Splinter from Bubble de Bui. They're followed next in the field by Zanidi in third. Fortress has on Claremont, and they're followed by Wasini Island, Lights of Green. Extrapolation, it is a break of five or six cents back to the back marker of the field, Spagnum. Over that one safely, and head along towards the middle one in the back straight, fence number eight. And it is in front, Master Splinter from in second, Bubble Dubuis. They're followed next in the field, back in third by Zanidi, and they're followed wider still by Haston Claremont. Next in behind these, in fifth, it is Wasini Island. And he's followed by Lights are Green and Extrapolation, break of six cents back to the back marker of Spagnum. Through the gap to go and make their way towards the side of the track and turning on towards the next fence, they'll jump, which would be fence. Number nine, and as they do so, Master Splinter leads the way from in second, Bubble de Bui. They're followed next in the field by Zanidi in third. Haston Claremont is wider still in fourth with Wasini Island, Lights are Green, Extrapolation, and closing up to within four lanes of the Spagnum. Over that one now, fence number nine, and all over safely. And it is still in front, Master Splinter and Brian Dunleavy leads the way from in second, Bubble de Bui and Aaron Sinnott. They're followed next in the field by Zanidi and Derek O'Connor. With next on his feet on his outside is Haston Claremont, Wastini Island, Lights are Green, Extrapolation, and in the back backer it is Spagnum. Straight and up towards this next fence, begin to climb uphill towards this fence, fence number 10, the last in the circus time. And as they come to, Master Splinter leads the way by a length from in second, Bubble de Bui. They're followed next in the field by Haston Claremont and Zanidi. These are followed next by Lights are Green, who moves into fifth. Wasini Island is sixth. They're followed by Extrapolation and the back marker, it is Spagnum. The passage judges trailer head out in their final circuit and quickly race on towards the fence, five out. Master Splinter over with a lint advantage from Bubble de Bui in second. They're followed next in the field now. 
by Haston Claremont, lights are green and Zanidi on the inside as they make their way towards the bend to bring him into the back straight and turn on with just four left at jump. Master Splinter travels well in front from Pubble Dubuis in second. These two now have just stretched on six or seven lengths clear of Zanidi in third. Haston Claremont is fourth with lights are green and they're followed by extrapolation and was seen the island. Spagnum is the back marker. Into the back straight they go. They straighten up on towards the one four from the finish and it is in front Master Splinter from Bubble Dubuis. These are followed next in the field by 10 12 lengths back to Zanidi, who's ridden to try and go in pursuit of these leaders. Haston Claremont is fourth. Extrapolation was seen. The island lights are green, and Spagnum is the back marker. Three out now. Good bit from home, and a good jump again in front by Master Splinter. From in second, Bubble Dewey. There, these two now are the best part of 12 15 lengths clear of Haston Claremont. Zanini's ridden back in fourth, and they're followed next in the field by Wassini Island. With extrapolation, lights are green, and Spagnum is the back marker. Run downhill around the bend, decided to track a two left to jump. These leading pair now, travelling well in front it is on the inside master splinter from Bubble de Bouy, he's trying to close up on the outside, might just put his head in front Bubble de Bouy is over for Master Splinter. Bubble de Bouy with a half length advantage for Master Splinter on the inside. They're followed back in third. Ten lengths adrift by Zanidi and Haston Claremont. And they're followed further back by Sini Ali and Spagdam staying on. And they're followed by Expolation and Lights are green. After home men they come now and it is in front. It is bubbly wee from Master Splinter. Zanidi's trying to close again now. Come a renewed effort on the outside in third. Up in the come towards the final fence and it's bubbly wee is in front. Leads by three lengths from in second coming to it. It is Zanidi and Master Splinter. Up hill over the last now. Zanidi is trying to close but bubbly wee still has the advantages as across the gap. Zanidi on the outside is coming again with a renewed effort and up towards the line. Zanidi and Dirk O'Connor produce right on time and up towards the line. Zanidi's going to score for the hole in Zerka Connor. Haston Claremont gets up for a second and they were followed by Bubble Dewey's third. Wassini Island might just be fourth. We'll get the judges to separate fourth and fifth with Master Splinter and Spagnum is your final finisher pulled up before the final fence was extrapolation and lights are green.